Hello, my name is Lee Wen Sing. I'm the first presenter of my group. Today, we are going to present about our product development assignment. The service that we have purpose is K-Line bus system. It is a new bus system developed by us for Kuching City. The reason we purpose this idea is to bring convention to the public user and tourists for their traveling purpose in Kuching City. As the current bus system we have in Kuching is not systematic enough. We have also conducted a survey to further improve our bus system and we have considered many suggestions from the respondent for the development of our service. Hello, my name is Ibeli Anat Chang. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, corporate identity of our bus system. The name of the bus system is K Line. The K here stands for Kuching, and this is our logo design. As you can see, the form of the logo was designed like a bus to represent our bus service. For the color, there are only two colors. Blue represent trust and responsible, while orange represent happiness and creativity. Here are the image of our corporate items. First, this is the bus stop design for our bus system. Second, this is the uniform. Next, this is the name card design. Next is our bus ticket. And next is stamp. And also this one is our signage. This is also our cup design for bus driver. As you can see, our corporate items use the same colors as the team for brand recognizance purpose. Last one, this is our bus design. We make sure the logo is clear and readable here. Hi, my name is Di Qi Xiang. Uh, a very good morning to our Dr. Mastika. So, uh, I am the third presenter. Uh. So, Today, I want to share my bus map idea and my idea is my idea to design is one to help the people to go everywhere in the Kuching area. <coughs> so this is my uh, hand sketch for the bus. So the passenger only need to take uh, maximum 50 minutes by taking a bus so the passenger can go the destination by change the station to go the final destination so uh, every every junction need to have the bus stop so the passenger can change the station the passenger also can track the bus exactly location by using the apps and also can know how to get the true buses so they can avoid to to taking the wrong buses uh. so for example if I I am uh, I in the Unimas I want to go to the uh, Viva City Mall. So I need to take the yellow bus then until here I need to change the station so I need to take the orange bus then finally I need to take the uh, red color bus so I can reach the Viva City Mega Mall Okay, so the route for my design is the bus will uh, like continuously going around the area like like the green so the bus will going like this they have the two way out one is forward one is backward so every route is, is the same uh. the bus will going like this Back, forward, backward. 
except except the road in the Kuching area because the Kuching area the road is very different the usually the road in the waterfront area is uh, one way so I need to so the bus will will always one way like this go in one way uh, beside beside that for our uh, our Orang Biasa Orang Biasa di Kuching we also have the package for the the tourism ah. so the tourist I will set the bus stop at the waterfront because the waterfront is the top 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 spot for the tourists so um, I have the three road for the tourists which is the the way go to the Kuba the way go to the Bako and last is the Damai so the tourists only need to uh, wait in the waterfront so the bus will automatically take them to the national park they want to go uh. so uh, this is my uh, bus ideas maybe I will improve from the the design and I will improve the and improve the route so they can go as as move up especially the tourism up. I think the route for the citizen is mostly soft okay that's all for me hello my name is Yevionamo and for a bus system we have also developed an app for it it is called the K-Line app. With this app, user can take a ride on our bus by scanning the QR code provided on the bus and make payment directly on it. There's a place to top up the money in the app called the K-Wallet. With this wallet, payment for bus trips fail will be more speedy and convenient. And besides, our app also allows user to check for the nearest, nearest bus stops, bus numbers, schedules, the fees, as well as tracking the live locations for the bus that they are waiting for. But of course, users who do not have the app can still use our bus service. And last but not least, we also offer passes like week pass, Man Pass and Kuching Tourist Pass KTP to user for unlimited rights to any destinations in Kuching as long as it is within the specific durations. These passes are introduced so that more people will be attracted to our bus system and also for the sake of their confidence. And that's all for our presentations today. Thank you.